Yo, what's poppin', my home G's? Welcome back to the Epic Gaming Channel. I just finished The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, hidden gem, kind of went under everyone's radar, and I feel like I deserve credit for the discovery of this amazing game. And it just really is amazing. It has great exploration, great characters, pretty hot characters, Sidon, and great music. Everything about it is just so good, you know what I mean? I just cannot wait to see what they do with the sequel. Hey guys, it's been two years since Zelda came out. I've had nothing to play, but I'm going crazy. If they don't do anything, they're doing Breath of the Wild 2. They're doing Breath of the Wild 2. I can't believe Oh my gosh, they're doing Zelda. I can't wait long or I'll go insane. What will it be? Something cool, something crazy. Don't make me wait too long. I love you, Nin Daddy! Sky! <laughs> yeah! More... More, more Sky! <laughs> yeah... More Sky! I love this guy! <laughs> Get in the door! Okay, Holy tears of my wallet, $70! This game's gonna be amazing! Yeah, yeah, we found him like this. He was watching Zelda trailers on his TV for a game that never came out. People are on their way? Okay, thanks. Bye. Man, I can't believe he finally died just doing nothing but rewatching the third trailer for Tears of the Kingdom over and over again. Yeah, that's all he really had in his final years. Sure, but even then, the game was just gonna be glorified DLC. Everyone knew it. Was? No, it just came out yesterday. Give me tears! <laughs> so, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom finally released a few months ago, and you could call me fashionably late, but I was busy doing really important stuff that I need to take care of over the summer, such as. The game has been a long time in the making, and it's easily my most anticipated game for the past few years. And it's seventy dollars, which is—I uh, don't like that personally. I got seventy dollars out of enjoyment out of it, but I don't think it should cost seventy dollars because there was no reason for it to. Seventy dollars, in my opinion, should be reserved for big next-gen games that actually take advantage of the hardware. Cough, cough, EA, and are worth the money. Tears of the Kingdom is not next-gen in any way. It runs at, I believe, 720p, 30fps, and it even struggles to hold that 30fps. So, in my opinion, this game should absolutely be $60, but with that out of the way, we can get into the game. And the first thing I want to talk about is the world. Everyone assumed the world was going to be big because Hyrule and Breath of the Wild wasn't big, just with some sky islands above it. But, thankfully, that was not the case because when you actually start playing the game, you notice some holes around the map, and when you dive in, you find an entire underground region that's literally as big as the ground map. So, you basically have two times the amount of space to explore in Tears of the Kingdom when you move Breath of the Wild. And that's gotta be one of my favorite gaming moments of all time, is realizing how freaking big this game actually is. Now, one thing people complained about the last game was the story, because Breath of the Wild, let's be honest here, does not have a plot. It has a synopsis, and then you're thrown into a game. I don't really mind that, because it's much more of a game play game than a story game, but I wouldn't mind a better story, and Tears of the Kingdom does improve on it a decent bit, though there is still a lot lacking from the story, and I do really wish one day we could get a Zelda game with a gripping, really well written story, just something that's a little more serious than usual, still with the Zelda charm, I would really love that. The dungeons here are also improved a good bit, and they mostly use physics puzzles, which I personally prefer to regular puzzles because the open-ended feeling of exploring a physics puzzle is just way more fun than exploring a set puzzle that has a set conclusion, and I just really like trying to figure out my own solution to the problem. Though I really wouldn't call some of the dungeons, they're just kind of big open spaces that you travel across to get to the boss of that, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I do wish there was just a few more story dungeons. The graphics and performance can be a little bit of a mixed bag. The graphics themselves look pretty gorgeous and I really love the art style, but the anti-aliasing of the Switch mixed in with the subpar FPS when you use things like Ultra Hand 
just kind of ruin it a little bit. And I really wish the Switch could have some more powerful hardware, because on emulators, this game runs at 4K60 and it looks gorgeous. Though to be fair, the fact that this game even runs on the Switch at a steady frame rate is a miracle. Speaking of gorgeous, the music! The music is just phenomenal. The last game's music got some criticism because it wasn't as big and bombastic as like the other Zelda games, but personally it was one of my favorite gaming soundtracks ever. I deeply love that. It is just so special to me. And this game does not disappoint. The music is beautiful. It retains the same kind of quiet style, but still has a good amount of big bombastic songs for important story moments, and especially the trailer music. My only other thoughts on this game are just that the weapon durability could be improved just a little bit. It doesn't really bother me that much since you get so many weapons all the time, but if the weapons just lasted a little bit longer, I would like it more. And that I just wish there were some more story missions because the game does feel slightly anticlimactic leading up to the very climactic climax, if you know what I mean. And so overall, Tears of the Kingdom was absolutely not a disappointment for me. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. I loved it, and I cannot wait to replay this game. Yeah, we found him like this. He was waiting for another Zelda game, I guess. Uh, people on their way? Okay, thank you. Man, I can't believe we're back with him dead on his couch in the same clothes as we were last time. Yep, and he was just waiting for Breath of the Wild 3, but that never came out, did it? Actually, no, it was just announced. The Triforce of Love. Sounds interesting. Oh, really? Let me see. <laughs> never mind!